bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Laurel Hess and this is Comcast Newsmakers. Our topic today is the Michigan Film Credit. Here to discuss it with us is Senator Nancy Cassis, a Republican from the 15th District, which represents uh, Western Oakland County. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Laurel. Talking about the film credit, because it's been about a year since it was all passed and approved and it's been in place. And uh, certainly uh, prior to a year ago, when there was all the discussion about should we do it or not, mm -hmm. you were sort of a lone voice in the wilderness that said no. Um, why why then and how do you feel about it now? Well, let me give you a little bit of a background. When this bill was originally passed, it provided the most generous tax credit to any industry in Michigan, one industry. I would really refer to this as the Michigan's um, film tax credit, 100 to 200 million dollar giveaway, deal or no deal. Is it good for our state? And, you know, we are in the middle of a very, very long recession here in Michigan. Tremendous unemployment, loss of jobs, people really filled with anxiety about what's going to happen. And here we have a one and a half billion dollar deficit in the state budget right now. And we're giving away a hundred million dollars this year alone for the film industry. Proponents will say it's bringing the film industry here, providing jobs that we wouldn't otherwise have, filling up hotel rooms and rent -a cars and catering companies, and now they're building a studio. It's all great. Well, they're being subsidized by all the other taxpayers in this state. They're paying for this um, increase in film production here in Michigan. However, no state, including Michigan, that provides credits to lure productions has ever broken even. In fact, they are losing. Michigan is only getting approximately 16 cents for every dollar invested. Much more is going out that is never returned. And you know, you talk about the need for permanent jobs to grow this economy so badly in need of a recovery. Well, these are what we would call drive-by jobs, jobs that are here today and gone tomorrow. And importantly, what's happened is there's a bidding war among the states, Laurel. Mm -hmm. And with that happening, we know, and the producers have told us, if someone comes up with a better deal, here we go again, deal or no deal, they come up with a better deal, they're going to be out of here in a nanosecond. Which might be, might be, depending on where you're coming from, a good thing. What do you see as the future of the film credit? Uh, is it going to be here to stay for a while? I think even those who were in favor of it are a little overwhelmed by how much of a response it's gotten. It has gotten a response, but it is a debt to the state of Michigan. That's the problem, and we are how we are in such a situation economically that we can't afford this 100 to 200 million, growing to 200 million next year. What are we going to do? Are we going to cut higher education, as the governor says, or help for seniors, the disabled, or Medicaid? I mean, you just can't keep this thing going. And it's being paid for on the backs of all other taxpayers. Our small businesses in this state are hurting, and they employ somewhere between 75 and 80 percent of all the workers. They're getting no tax relief, and they, as a result, are having to shed jobs. So let's be responsible. Let's be accountable. Let's look to putting a cap on the credits, making them responsible and accountable, and let's provide for the incentive to be on permanent facilities that will create permanent jobs to sustain Michigan's economic future. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, actually, uh, it's always so good to hear the, the, the different perspectives on uh, what we always see in the headlines as, as such a supposedly good opportunity. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Today's Comcast Newsmaker was Senator Nancy Cassis, a Republican from the 15th District.